Hey guys, this is Tara Hate from How to Play CA. Today I'll be showing you guys how to edit cataracts um, that you have probably downloaded from Cydia. And the default one usually come with just the time with no date, weather, or anything like that. Uh, keep in mind uh, that this requires iFile, which you can find in Cydia. And if you have the, you know, you can actually find it for free as well. Um, let me see if I can. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't come to the search. Uh, anyways, let's get into Groovy Logs here, guys. And first thing first, go ahead, let's press the home button here in the bottom. Uh, and then after that, let's go to library. And then if you scroll in a little bit, you'll be able to see Groovy Logs. And this is what we need to go in. So cataracts and dot theme is what it would, you know, be named as. And then you have to go to option.js, which is this one. And what you need to do is you have to choose it and then choose test viewer. And then you'll be able to see all these codes, which is kind of scary, but trust me, it's actually much, much awesome. And the things that you can do with this code is fucking amazing. So anyways, let's do that here, guys. All right, so this is um, on the top, shows the battery visual behind the clock when your device is charging. So as you can see earlier, uh, there was like a green charging thing, which it was showing. That's what it pretty much means. Spacing between widget, uh, top of your screen vertical, and uh, that's good. Space between. You don't have to edit any of that. If you want to change any of this, infer, you know, any of this, just play around with it, guys. It's not going to do a lot of, um, you know, it's not going to mess up your application, um, you know, your actual lock thing. And if you, if it actually did, just reinstall it and everything is going to be back to normal again. So don't worry about, you know, messing it up or anything. Um, but anyways, let's scroll down to find where the weather is. There we go. So enter your uh, W-O-E-I-D here. So how do we do that? All right, let me show you guys how to do that. Currently, I'm living in uh, Clarston. So let's say Clarston... Georgia 333 which would be my zip code and then you look for also make sure you type in Yahoo and then once you get there you will be able to find it right here so this is the code that we really need um, so let's choose that and I'm gonna go to the other bar and try to choose that numbers at the end so this is the number we need so you choose select copy and we go back to the editor again one more time. So here, we are back here. All right, so to find your W, uh, it's telling you what to do there. Uh, the default is that, so let's change it to, um, actually, let's click on edit first before anything, or else it won't let you change anything. All right, so let's go down, let's go down. Where was the weather? After, uh, yeah, there we go. So after you got the W or ID, uh, just Choose the um, existing one and then just paste yours on top. Um, so let's do that one more time in the bottom here. All you have to do is that. You don't have to do anything else. And then you can change the default is Celsius, which in America is not Celsius, it's Fahrenheit. So let's do the Fahrenheit there. Uh, you don't have to change anything else, just change that little tag there. Um, actually, that's a comment. My bad. You have to change it var unit right here. That's where you have to change because that just means that it's just a come in saying that's where it is or that's what it is or that's what it does <laughs> can't even talk um bg color all right mm, you don't have to worry about all that default is 1.0 all right so now we have to look for uh blur which i don't know if you guys want to do blur but let's just do blur here just for the hell of it sometimes like i said you have to do it multiple times and it's kind of tricky here um so default is, uh, yeah, let's, let's say default is, because I have a 6 plus, I'm going to make this true, true, and then show the current temperature. That's where you have to actually, after you change the WOD, you need to change it to true here, or else it wouldn't show, uh, that's the date, which I also want. And then there's the temperature, which you just, all you do is just delete that, and then just type in true. And show a shadow under the widget. I don't want to do all that shit. Uh, thickness default is two pixels, like sample families, blah blah. So and that's pretty much it. So it's pretty basic. You will see the weather and the actual date, which I think is all nece that's all necessary in a lock screen widget. And let's just press on save and done. And obviously the changes would not be affected right away. You have to restart times restart it. Okay, so let me get on Spring Tomize to restart this. Um, 
respring, just respring, respring. You don't really have to go to spring to mice. I don't have the application. You know, you need to press on the power button. It gives you the option to also restart. That's why I had to go to spring to mice and try to restart it through there. So hopefully it would work right now. If it doesn't, just restart it one more time and it should. There we go. Actually, it worked the first time. Uh, as you guys can see here, it says that we're, uh, the temperature, the date, uh, which is pretty awesome. And that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial, guys. I hope you found this useful and helpful. If you did, like and subscribe, and I will do more videos like this in the uh, future. Thanks for watching, guys.